Hello, NoobTubers, and welcome to another video with me. As you can see, there is something behind me. Something intriguing. Something out of the ordinary. Something that you have not seen yet in Minecraft. Let's get into the video. It's gonna be metal! It's going to be mental. First off, guys, leave a like if you like this tablescape I made. I mean, I'm aware that they can't actually pull back their chairs without perhaps tipping over and maybe doing a full-on roll off the side. As you can see, guys, right here, look, this is the new lava hack. Infinite lava. Let me show you. Okay, let's go here. We're going to go to our bucket. We're going to get our bucket. Oh, that's a little cute creature. We'll be checking him out soon. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. See? Lava is still here. Still here. I don't think it works for the cauldron, but we can always see. This is going to be something that is found in caves. This right here, you can also add on to it. Uh, like so. Wait. Is it ble- Is it bleeding the cauldron? Never mind, it's not. It's just me, but... Maybe it has to cover a larger surface area. But you can make it bigger. Um, you can also put it on the ground like this. And you can make a very tall tower. Also, if you fall on this, it does a lot of damage. Do these things not look like rusty hoppers? Leave a comment down below if you think it's so. And yes, it is bleeding the cauldron dry ever so slowly. So you could put this under a friend's house, bleed their cauldron, and get away with it. Let's go to the next thing. Guys, this right here is an entirely new ore that they have added to Minecraft. Copper! Let's take a look at it. But yeah, you have weathered copper, exposed copper, uh fresh, let me see, block of copper, oxidized, waxed, what is waxed copper? Yeah, this is what you get. This is the copper. It's really cool. Um, you can leave this out all day in the weather. Nothing will happen to it. So this is, you could essentially build the Statue of Liberty now. Like, you can actually build the Statue of Liberty thanks to this. You don't have to make it out of green clay or anything or concrete which would look kind of cheesy anyway but you can actually make it look good so i'm just waiting for someone to build a statue of liberty out of copper now to be even more realistic build it out of the shiny copper which is how the or the original lady liberty looked she was a nice shiny copper color i don't know if you can hear it but i'm making little tingly noises like when i'm walking on it's like ding 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 I see England, I see France, I see your underpants. Woohoo! This right here that I'm holding is the new telescope. I was not expecting this to ever be added into Minecraft, but it's actually kind of cool. Like, you can literally go and spot enemies now. All you do is just, well, in my case, left click because I changed the settings, but that's that's pretty far. That's like more than twice. This is like, I don't know, magnifying by 10 times. This would be cool if you could add it to a crossbow or something, which I don't believe you can do. Oh, look, there's my spawn point and my portal. Right here, you have the glow squid egg. As you can see, it looks pretty glowy and cool. It looks like a regular squid, but it's glowing and I'm assuming it's fine with the nature. Oh, it is a died. Oh, it died. Okay, guys, get ready. We're gonna see some nature. There we go. Look at it. Look at it. It's kind of magical and sparkly and cool. Okay, guys, now time for the ax axolotl. 
axolotl? Yeah, the axolotl. Time for the axolotl. Oh my goodness, look at it. It's cute. Look at that face. You can't say no to it. Oh, and it's, there's a pink one. Yellow, pink, brown, white. Brown. Are they fighting? Wait, they kill fish. That's so cool. There you go, little guy. You can be the center of attention. Okay, now you have the bundle, which is... Okay, guys, this is how the bundle operates. So you're going to click on your items. As you can see, it's holding one thing in there. Um, you can equip this in different hands if you want to. But yeah, it's pretty much just there to hold stuff. And you have glow berries. First of all, am I glowing? Nope. I am not radiating anything. Let's move on to our next item. Okay, next up we have the glow ink sack, which goes with the squid. I do not know what it's used for, but it is here. And you can look at it. And this is a bucket of snow, which you can literally just make a snowman with. Uh, I forgot this was a feature in Minecraft. Oh, I'm freezing to death. And then you have a crystal which, to my knowledge, does nothing. Oh, guys, and this is the next item, calcite, right here. Okay, guys, as you can see, this, okay, if I can get to it, here's the calcite. It is what you're looking at right now. Now that these items have been covered, we can get on to our next items. Man, these things are tough to kill. Anyways, let's get on to the candle. This is actually cool, and it, they light very simply. They have a little bit of smoke. You can also, this is a lightning rod. Now you may be thinking to yourself, okay, so what is that good for? Well, keeping lightning from striking things that you do not want them to strike. There we go. You could literally live underground and have your own weather detection. Now this, is a skulk sensor. Okay, let me see what that does. Oh! This is cool. Uh, guys, I actually don't know what a skulk sensor does. Do I look like I know? All I know is it does give off redstone. It seems to give off different intensities of redstone. So we're gonna delete this right here, and we're gonna go to the tinted glass. Okay, there's honestly not too much of a difference. This is tinted, it's a little bit clearer. So, I don't really know the point of tinted glass. So, I'm going to assume that it does something really cool. Next, we have Tough. This is one of the blocks added. It's just tough. I don't know what it does, so. This is Glow. Glow lichen. So, it glows, obviously. I'm assuming it glows in the dark, so slash, or not. I need to show you this. This is the glow item frame. It does glow. In fact, your items glow in it. This is kind of cool. So this works out perfect. And I think these crystals will look really cool with a sunset behind them or something. This is really cool. It, it even sounds cool. Listen. Hello. I forgot to cover something in my original video, so I'm making another video to cover what I didn't cover. These are the amethyst crystals. They do not come in the block form that I showed you. They come in this form, in four different sizes. It sounds like little bells breaking. It's kind of cool. Next up, we have azalea, flowering azalea. There we go words. We have a small drip leaf. We have a hanging root. We have hanging roots. We have moss. So this is really cool. You, you have this nice little mossy area and yeah. You even make squishing sounds if you can hear. You can actually walk up the leaf. Oh no you can't. I'm assuming this leaf will come back up. Yeah it does so. You could make it like a trap or something, I'm sure, with these. Oh no, that's... Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, watch out when you put these little ataraxles in. Because they will slaughter every single fish. Oh, they go underwater. That's why. 
Okay, now time for hanging roots. Three days later. You have roots right there. You cannot expand the roots. They look even more realistic with dirt. Also, they look even more realistic with rooted dirt, which is kind of cool. So you could like totally like plant a tree right there or something. Time for the flowering azalea. This is a bush, not a tree. This is really cool, and this is just an azalea. Guys, I almost forgot. There is the spore blossom. Okay, it goes on wood, and it spreads spores. I don't know what these spores do. I don't know if they're toxic. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Y'all are awesome. Stay safe. Hit that subscribe button down below, please. Or I swear, an Adaraxel will come into your room. And eat your goldfish. Actually, it will just kill your goldfish. It won't even eat it. It will just leave it there dead for you to look at. So make sure to subscribe unless you want an Adaraxel to come into your room and kill your goldfish. On that note, goodbye.